So it is beginning. Drivers are getting deactivated for not taking all rides, including unmasked riders. And that's what we're going to be talking about right now. Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Rideshare Stories. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for different things within the rideshare industry, whether it's updates to what's going on, news, tips and tricks for passengers and drivers, or what actually happens out on the road, start now by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Also make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. So Uber and Lyft drivers are now being deactivated for following the rules when it comes to enforcing the mask policy. But the thing is, it may not be because of Uber and Lyft itself and the changes. It's going to be because of the false reports that riders are filing against drivers specifically for not allowing them in the vehicle when it comes down to it. And the difference between these false reports and false reports, say, pre-pandemic is the ones that happened pre-pandemic or were for a free ride is essentially just that. So they're going to say something like, oh, the driver took a long route or this blah, 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 whatever it might be. It wasn't necessarily against the driver itself. It was more to try to get a free ride. And so there were a lot of different things that a passenger would say that was under the sun. Something I don't want to get into because I don't want to add fuel to the fire for anybody who's trying to pull that crap. But this is something where if a rider is denied a ride for not wearing a mask and don't want to wear a mask, they're going to feel personally attacked. So they are calling up Uber or Lyft and then they are trying to attack the driver by creating a false report that is directly against them. And essentially, this is something that could potentially get that driver deactivated. And there could be a lot of different things that they could be saying there too, which is essentially going to be a direct attack on that driver. So this is a major problem that drivers have to weigh the option on if they're going to take a rider without a mask or if they're going to enforce the rules. And it's going to open you up for the possibility of having reports and being deactivated or then posing a possibility of having a sickness and getting sick from it. So now this article that I'm going to be referencing is from News Center Maine. If you want to click the link in the description below so you can read the entire article, then you absolutely can. It's titled Uber Driver Denies Unmasked Riders Fired for Complaints. So yes, these complaints are being directed back at the driver because they're trying to enforce the rules of saying no mask, no ride. So it says, I don't want to die or get sick going to work. Portland-based Uber driver cancels trips with riders who do not wear masks, recently terminated by the company. Now, there is, the story is going to go on and who knows what's going to happen in terms of if this driver particularly had any uh, allegations against them, like Uber said. I don't know. But again, like I said, this is something that is happening. And so drivers are going to start getting deactivated because of these complaints where these uh, passengers are calling up the company and creating these false reports. So it's going on and it says an Uber driver says he was wrongfully terminated by the rideshare company. Former Uber driver Danny Darling says he never ran into issues before the COVID pandemic, specifically in the past few months with riders refusing to wear masks in his vehicle. Like I said, that's becoming a major problem. A lot of people are talking about this in a lot of different groups and places when it comes to what drivers are saying. So yeah, it's becoming a real big issue. So it says, in the beginning, I would ask them, I would plead with them, I would stay there and plead with them to wear a mask, says Darling. And that was probably prior to the whole mask thing um, actually being an official policy. But he said those interactions were often unpleasant, if not heated. and absolutely true. I would get the middle finger. I would get my car kicked. I would get my car punched. I would be called so many names. One guy even spit on me, spit on me in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, that is 
been happening as well too. Uh, there was a video that was released of a couple of girls uh, who spit on their driver saying that they had the virus. Um, so yeah, this is actually happening. It's a real problem out there. And this is just another reason why you do need to have a dash camera, that you need to have it with audio recording and you need to be able to protect yourself because of these false allegations. Uh, so it says, worried for his safety, Darling said he began to cancel rides when riders would approach without a mask. Through the Uber app, he would cite not wearing a mask as a reason for canceling the trip. That's one of the features Uber started doing June 1st, that you could cancel for someone not wearing a mask, says Darling. Also starting June 1st, before accepting a ride through the Uber app, riders must agree to wear a mask. Even so, Darling says many riders would continue to approach his car and try to get inside without a mask on. Darling said he didn't, lose, he didn't mind losing some business in order to keep himself and the rest of his riders safe. I am not financially that desperate. I don't want to die or get sick going to work. And he shares the same sentiment that many other drivers who are still out on the road have. But then there are other drivers out there that say, I'll take either or. It doesn't matter if they're wearing a mask or not. It's just essentially a guideline. And again, like I said, it's the controversy that's behind a mask. I'm not there for that. I'm talking about the policies themselves and what drivers are supposed to be doing. Uh, what you want to do for your own driving and for how you want to do it, that's up to you. But like I said, just know all of the risks and consequences that could go on either side of the uh, table on that issue. So it says, the problem, however, is those riders, he refused to pick up filed complaints. Some of those riders even said Darling was the one practicing unsafe behavior. So right there, that's something that some people are saying. Um, so it says, on Saturday, after two and a half years of driving Uber full-time, Darling was told via email that he could no longer work for the company. Again, this is something where People have said, like Dustin, myself, other people, you want to have backups to your backups just in case. You don't want to put all your eggs into one basket in case something does happen and you get deactivated because false reports, especially when they're targeted at you, could just be one. And then all of a sudden, everything changes and you're no longer able to do that. And it's very hard to fight if you can even fight it at all. Um, so again, just know everything you need to know. So I was under the assumption that Uber would pre protect me right now. I was wrong, said Darling. Uh, Uber cited unsafe practices and problematic behavior as some of the reasons his account was terminated. And then it goes, uh, speaking to New Center Maine, a representative from Uber's safety communication team said, there was several reports of verbal behavior on Darling's account that went against the company's policy. The representative said some of those reports were incidences before and leading up to March. Whether this is true or not, I don't know. Uber never really likes to say the exact truth, and it's always a big secret when it comes down to it, even when it is the driver themselves asking about their own record or however things are kept it's still very much in the dark so like i said you can ponder what you think may um, but either way this is something that is becoming a problem and you just want to make sure you weigh all the options and know what you could potentially face on either side so it says the representative adds that his termination had absolutely nothing to do with canceling trips on riders not wearing masks bullshit um I don't know, again, like I said, I don't know his driving record prior to that. Uh, it could be true, it might not be true. Um, I just don't know. Like I said, you comment below on what you might think, or if you've heard any different thing, not necessarily uh, particular to this particular driver, but just in general, comment below, let me know. It says another Portland area Uber driver who wished to remain anonymous says he won't refuse on mass riders. The driver says, I've taken it myself to still give a ride because this is my life, this is my job, and I can't afford to get fired over false information. So you can see both sides of the coin here. Uh, one driver who says, no mask, no ride, and then the other one that says, I have to take every single ride I can, and I have to bend over backwards in order to make sure I still can have access to the platform because this is how I make money. This is a major problem when it comes down to it. 
Um, so it says, his mindset shows that rideshare drivers face a dilemma, protect their health and that of everyone they drive or risk bad ratings or worse, losing a job they love. And one could argue if you love this job or not, but there's a lot of good points to being a rideshare driver and there's a lot of bad points. And so we're to, that's a different video though. Uh, but it says Darling has filed an appeal with Uber and a formal complaint with Governor Mills office. At last check, Uber says his case is being looked at by a specialized team. So whether he's going to get reactivated or not, whether something is going to move from this or not, um, again, it's just a major problem when it comes down to it. So again, the policy does state that all drivers and riders are supposed to be wearing masks at all times during a ride, that all passengers are supposed to be sitting in the back seat. Uh, it is now limited for an UberX to three people for a Lyft. Uh, there hasn't really been much information I have heard from a few people saying that it's supposed to be only one person. Whether that's actually true or not, I don't know. I haven't really been able to find much with Lyft. It's a very hush-hush on their end. It's very confusing. Um, but yes, those are the policies. You're supposed to be wearing a mask. Whether you want to enforce that or not, that is up to you. Just again, know what the risks are on both sides where, yeah, somebody could potentially come in your car, they're going to be in close quarters, you're going to be breathing the same air, and you could potentially get sick if you allow them without masks. And then if you don't allow people without masks, you could be targeted by them complaining directly at you because you didn't take them. And unfortunately, that means that drivers are stuck between a rock and a hard place because Uber and Lyft really don't have their backs in any way, shape or form because they see that riders and passengers are the ones who are paying, so they're the ones who are bringing in the money. And they see drivers as an expense as well as expendable. So that has become a major problem when it comes down to things. Now, what are your thoughts on all this? First, do you think that Uber and Lyft actually have your back as a driver or not? Comment below, let me know. And also for all those drivers who are out on the road driving, are you enforcing the mask policy and are you refusing passengers who are not wearing them or are you allowing passengers in the car without a mask? Comment below, let me know. And then also finally, if you are a driver who is enforcing the policy, what are your what are you seeing? Are you seeing people acting badly about it? Are you seeing uh, a few more attacks you felt your way? Comment below, let me know. Now that's the end of this video. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Also make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, your delivery drivers, and your shoppers. And we'll see you next time.